What's up? My name is Brent Pierce from Cineblur.com. Today we're going to be looking at how to create that vintage vinyl audio sound. Um, I have some cracks and pops that I recorded from an old Beatles album on my record player. Basically, we're going to go from this sound Oh yeah, to this. So it's kind of subtle, right? Um, the original, it's got a lot of bass. It's a very full sound. And the new one, it cuts off the low end, cuts off the high end. And there's some subtle cracks and pops in the back. If I solo those, you can kind of hear them. Right? So we're going to be talking about how to add those cracks and pops from the download. And then there's also some presets to make your music sound like that that vintage uh, sound like that. So let's get to it. Okay, so when you download the downloaded folder from the website, you'll see that there are eight different files. If we give these a quick listen, you'll see kind of what each one of them does. The first one is just kind of a pop loop. It's a loop that just kind of has that generic crackle and pop sound of an old vinyl. Okay, next one, kind of a slight variation of that. These are all from different vinyl records that I had in my collection that had kind of a cool sound. Here's another one. This one's a little bit more subtle. Okay, so the next one, this one says pop end. Basically, this is used for the end of a record. Then you'll kind of hear that scratching sound right at the end here if I shuffle to the end. So the needle gets to the end of the record, it picks up and it resets all the way back to the cradle. This one's a needle start. You can hear the needle get dropped on there and start spinning. Uh, next one is a needle end. So a lot of times on older records, the needle will get to the end of the record and it'll keep spinning. It's supposed to see that it's the end of the record and pick up and go back, but sometimes it'll keep spinning. So that's what this is. This is a loop. You'll hear it just doing this loop where it's hitting the label over and over. That's what that is. And you'll hear it pick up. Yep, like that. That's one of my favorite ones to end on. Um, here's another variation of that. And then here is another variation of that. Yeah, so you got a lot of stuff in there that you can play with to kind of mix and match and get exactly what you're wanting. Um, another super important factor when you're making your, your music sound vintage is the EQ. So I included three presets with this download. If we go into our effects panel, type in vintage, you'll see vintage audio one, two, three, right? And that's what we're gonna be working with. And these are kind of, one is the mildest, two is medium, and three is a very strong effect. Number three will make your, it'll, it'll destroy your music in a good way. It'll tastefully destroy your music. So let's, uh, let's check out these different ones. Here's the first one. You can see compared to the original, that's the original. Here's the first one, right? It's kind of mild. Suddenly, Here's the second one. She passes right in it's a little bit stronger. Me. Suddenly, and here's the third one. Feels like I'm gonna fall. So yeah, okay, so let's take a look real quick at what these are doing. Um, let's look at this first one here. It's basically just an EQ. This is what it's doing. It's, uh, it's killing the low end, right? and it's killing a little bit of the high end and it's boosting that crappy middle sound. Uh, the 2000 Hertz, I think, is about where I landed and it's boosting that by a little bit. Me. And the next one is doing the same thing except it's stronger. Sad. And the third one is doing the same thing except it's even stronger. You can see there's absolutely no end. It kills a lot of the high end and it boosts up this middle area. So that EQ combined with the crackles and pops is a really cool sound. Okay, so let's start from scratch. Let's create a, uh, a new sequence here with that song. Okay, and now let's apply our Vintage Audio 3 to that clip. All right, we're getting there. Now we want to apply these scratches. So let's go into our scratches here. 
And let's start with the needle start. Okay, so this part right here, that, that's kind of cool. So that's where I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna drop that um, underneath to start out with that. And then I'm gonna find a loop. Let's go pop loop one. Yeah, let's just use this first one here. Fade them together a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. So after the needle drops, we want the music to start a couple seconds after that. So let's kind of start it right here. Cool. Now I'm gonna loop this to the very end. I'm holding option, just duplicate it. And we're gonna go to the very end here. Okay, so when it gets to the end, we're gonna do the, the needle looping around the label and then we're gonna hear the needle pick up, so. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's just throw that on there, see what we got. I kinda don't want those pianos at the end, so I'm just gonna kill those. There you go, that's pretty cool, right? So we went from this, very full sound of a song, we went from that to this. Pretty slick, right? Another cool thing you can do, you can start with the vinyl sound and then go into the full sound. And movies do this all the time. Maybe the character puts the record on and so it's got that crackly sound and then maybe they go into like a flashback or something and the music becomes kind of the music bed, the soundtrack, where it needs to sound full and it doesn't need those cracks and pops and it doesn't need that low fidelity sound, it needs that full body sound. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take what we have here and then we're gonna transition it right here to the full body sound, so. Right there, so I'm just gonna cut it and then on this next clip, I'm gonna disable the EQ sound and then I'm gonna fade them together. I'm gonna do a pretty big fade. Let me grab this side, go here, and then I'm also going to kill my scratches and pops and I'm gonna fade those off just like that. So you can see they're fading down to the same. So it's gonna sound like this. Here's the transition. Somebody better come quick and rescue me. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. Just a little tweaking and you have some tastefully bad audio if that's a thing, I don't know. A lot of times as cinematographers, we like look at the image primarily. We try to tell the story completely with what's on the screen instead of what's coming out of the speakers. Um, audio is honestly more important than the video aspect of it. So if you have good audio, you're gonna bring your audience into the video. It doesn't matter what it looks like. If you have bad audio, it's gonna look like crap. Anyways, that's just a little neat trick. Thanks for watching. Go make some cool stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Finally, she could be the one who cares for me.